American National is proud to support No Ceiling, helping to tell the stories of professional women. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Taylor. It's my pleasure. So in 45 years of education, can you try to explain to me what 2020 has been like for you? Nothing like the prior 45. You know, so, um, and I, I think if you were to talk to any school superintendent or principal or college president, they would say, we've never navigated anything like this. So you face a lot of challenges. This is a whole brand new uncharted territory and adventure. Talk about the, the level of stress that you manage as the head of Evangel University, because you have thousands of students that are in your care and faculty and staff that are scared. I mean, what is, what is that stress like to witness and then to experience yourself, I mean, as the leader of the university? So I would say, you know, the closer we got to the launch of this year, the higher the meter went on the stress level. Like, can we do this? Will our students be safe? We've, we've worked so hard. Um, so I actually ran into one of our, our uh, staff that works in student development. She works with all of our launch leaders. And last week they came back early and I went to meet with them as I do every year and they're all spread out. They've all got their masks on their faces. And the next day I saw her again. And, and she is the most upbeat, energetic, positive uh, campus leader. And I just paused and said, are you doing okay? And, and I could see her, she teared up, she shook her head, no. And I walked away and then I ah, and so I walked back in and I said, really, how are you doing? And she said, you know, I'm, I'm just terrified. What if my kids get sick? What if they get quarantined? What if we can't do? And, and you, just, you just could see the stress. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I, I said, look, we both have a mask on. We're not gonna do this for 15 minutes. And I just gave her a quick hug. Mm. And then she said, I can't imagine, because I'm just thinking about my group and, and these students, and you've got like the whole university. So there is like an extraordinary amount of stress. And, and you just try to find ways to manage that stress and put things in perspective. And um, I actually shared, when we did our campus community meeting, uh, this year, which we do at the beginning of every year, but now everyone's spread out. Half the people are watching it virtually. And I reminded them, um, you know, we're a faith-based school, so we often turn to scripture as a source of inspiration. You know, there was a time when my mother said, you know, sometimes the most comforting verse in scripture is it came to pass, not it came to stay, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I said, I just want to remind us, this isn't here to stay. We're going to get past this. There's life beyond this. But right now, it's intense. And so we need to try to find ways to put it in perspective. So even this morning was our first opening chapel of the year. And, and I said to the students, because you know we're trying to say, we can do this. Come on, we can do this, even if we have to do it for a whole academic year. So I reminded them our academic year this year, including the weekends when we're in session, is like 214 days. It seems like forever, especially if you're a freshman student thinking this is my life. And, and I said, in reality, it's only one fourth of your undergraduate experience. And, and hard to imagine your whole life, but of average lifespan today, 79 years. So that's like 28,800 some odd days. And I said, so this year, hard to imagine it today, but it's actually less than 1% of your life. It's like 0 0.7 something to be exact. And I said, if we can, so on a day when you're frustrated or stressed, I say less than 1%, this is less than 1% of my life. So we, we do all the things we can to try to have perspective and encourage each other. And then you just have moments when you just need to go to a quiet place and have a good cry and then get up and go back at it. From SBJ Podcasts, I'm Christine Temple, and this is No Ceiling a show that goes in-depth with local women, sharing their journey to the top of their professions and the challenges and triumphs they faced along the way. They're rewriting the script on success, and there's no ceiling.